Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with Michael Segrist, the Assistant Chief Engineer for GM Powertrain. Hi, Lou Ann. How are you today? I'm good, Michael. How about you? Doing very well, thanks. You brought out a new baby. We did. This is the 2014 Cruise Clean Diesel Engine in the Chevy Cruise. This is a high-technology premium product that's based out of Europe in our Astra Insignia and Zafira Opal products, and then we've modified it for the U.S. market to meet the requirements here. There's really four major things that we've done to make it uh, work in the cruise diesel here in the United States, and it changes to meet emissions, environmental conditions, diagnostics, and altitude drivability and performance. Well, you definitely had to change the emissions to meet California Air Resources Board. Very much so. so very, very strict requirements for the for the California law. Yes, and it it quite handily meets those requirements. And you, this is General Motors engine. You didn't buy it from Fiat or someone else. We did not at all. This is a GM powertrain engine. The base engine uh, resides in Torino, Italy but we had close collaboration between the engineers in Italy and the engineers in southeastern Michigan to do the project. Again, we had to focus on changing the four things that I spoke about with uh, all the specific hardware and parts being designed with engineers in, in Pontiac, Michigan, and then the validation development on dynamometers and the vehicle calibration was all done in southeastern Michigan. We went through the Mazda and the Volkswagen compression ratio. The Volkswagen is the closest to your compression ratio, but how does it differ as a diesel? I'm really excited about how powerful a premium product this is with great fuel efficiency, and I would like anybody that's willing to take on the challenge to drive both of the products, because I think that we will be very competitive and superior to the Jetta. It's a very powerful, quiet cruise diesel that we've designed here. This has a very, very broad range torque curve on it. It has VNT control on the turbocharger. It's like taking a big turbocharger and a little turbocharger and broadening out the torque curve. And what is VNT? Variable nozzle turbo. And what it does is it makes it uh, operate as a little turbo and a big turbo.